Hello and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSB's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 27th and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Race there as well. My current KSP streaming times are Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. GMT. I also try out random games on Wednesdays and free-to-play games on Fridays, both at 6 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Now on to my commentary from June 27th. And we are doing the stock career mode once again. Uh, well, stock except for Kerbal Engineer Redux and Ambient Light Adjustment. Ambient Light Adjustment hasn't been updated to 1.0. 0.4, uh, but I've thrown it in anyway in the hope that it'll all work for the best, and uh, Toolbar also hasn't been updated yet. Alright, um, yeah, so we've got a number of, uh, let me see, did I send something out yet? I can't, it's been like a week since I've done this, hasn't it? Nope, we haven't sent anything new. We've got the tourists stranded on Leith, and that's where we left off, basically. Was it? Or, uh, wait a minute, let me check out that Dreslander that we had there. have to remember what I was doing. Definitely the main goal here is to do some missions to rack up funds so that we can rescue our Kerbals on... Oh yeah, I remember this now. Okay, so this is all done with. Alright, so uh, this was one way that we were getting more funds, but we need much more funds to do the rescue mission. And the other thing is we have to design the craft that will pick up the Kerbals, and that's got to be a space plane of some kind, as far as I could tell. So, uh, yeah, let me take a look at the contracts, and then we'll see what we can do. What we've got active is Return to Kerbin from a Flyby of Val. I think I left that one there for future contracts, yeah. So the Dreslander is left for future contracts. I remember, I, we were doing hopping, and uh, we did three biomes on Dres. I was dead tired at that point, but... Uh, three uh, three uh, biomes on Dres, and then I left it there because it could still do a biome in case we got a contract. Do we have a contract? No, we don't have any other Dres contract. Okay, so uh, we've got a return to Kerbin from a flyby of Val contract, and we've got a science data from the surface of Val. So those are both uh, interesting. We also got a planet flag on Val. Well, I guess while we're at it, 40 year duration on this. Build a new surface outpost on Bob. Well, we need the funds. And we don't have to send Kerbals for this one. Okay. I think we gotta focus on Jewel. Lots of Jewel stuff we've got. And so, that's all I'm gonna pick up for now. I'm thinking I need to at least give a thought about how we're going to pick up the capsule if we're going to rescue the Kerbals that we've left on uh, Laith. So, I mean, we've got a capsule on Laith that looks... Well... For those who haven't watched, we've got three tourists stranded on Laith, and they're in a capsule like this, and they can't EVA. So we have to have a vehicle that will sort of pick them up. And that is the trick. So we have to get something that's got attached like this. I don't know if we want structural fuselage. We'll want some sort of fuselage. I guess maybe flatter is better. Would it... I can't attach anything like this. We'll need some sort of... Well, I think a radial attachment point will come in handy at some point. I don't think it's a good idea to build it backwards like this, though. Yeah, can't build it backwards like that. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have the regular landing gear on it, but also rover wheels. Somebody suggested that. So we'll have re regular landing gear and then rover wheels, and then when it moves itself above the capsule, it'll retract the landing gear and then sit on its rover wheels, uh, and then descend onto the docking port of the capsule. Yeah, that's the idea, Mikey. So we'll be driving with the rover wheels, we'll extend the landing gear uh, to push the vehicle above the capsule, move it over the capsule to line up with the docking port, and then descend with the, with the landing gear retracted. Inline dock- oh, excellent, uh, yeah, okay, yes, okay, we could do that. Thank you for reminding me. 
I don't know if it'll work with this one, though. Let's see. Yeah, this one, for some reason, doesn't do that. I guess we'll leave the pod as a ghost and just use it as a ghost to size things. Okay, let's start with the front of it. I guess that's a heavy cockpit, but uh, it'll be okay. How's the audio levels, by the way? We're switching back to the Kevin McLeod music, so I need to know. And then we can have a docking port. No. Is that upside down? So let's have our ghost capsule here. Okay, so that's be at this level or so. We don't really need that long a uh, lead. But we don't have the really good parts that uh, would adjust. I don't have the adapter parts that uh, go from 2.5 to uh, Mark II. Oh wait, no, of course I do. Hold on. I just don't have the one that's uh, already tilted, but uh, let's see. This is probably a bit dodgy. Uh, I don't want it to clip uh, the docking port, though. I think that should be alright. I'm wondering whether I should just uh, leave the capsule under it or have a crew module on the front to move them into it. Still debating that. What do you guys think? Shall we just carry the capsule up or... I don't know. This is a weird vehicle to begin with. Built like that, but you need to be able to drive sideways. Yeah, you got a point there. Hmm. So we need to... Okay, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, yeah, so this will actually be the end piece. Thank you for mentioning that. So it'll be like this. Maybe we should put... Uh, we can't put the engines on this tail, otherwise... I guess we could tilt it a bit. But for now, let's imagine this sort of situation. Now, another thing we need to do is we need to unlock the rapier. But let me get this settled first. We'll have to put the wheels in front. I mean the rover wheels, not the not the landing gear wheels. How big rover wheels do we have? We don't have rover wheels? We don't have rover wheels yet. Okay, that's something else we need to do. Okay, let's call this uh, Leif Rescue Draft. But see, now we know we have some things we need to unlock. Yep, so we need rover wheels, we need rapiers. And let's let's get to that. Turbojet nerve plane? Uh I don't have enough space to fit the stuff. I think. I mean We'll see. I prefer the rapiers because I use them more often, just familiarity sort of thing. Uh, where are our rover wheels? They were down here before, weren't they? Well, okay, there's that. Okay, well we can unlock these now.
I guess we have to. There's some other plane parts. Ah, th that, that's a sort of adapter. Those are good adapters that could be used for a different sort of vehicle. Okay. Um, actually, where, where haven't we got science from? We need a lot more science to do this. Well, I think we've pretty much covered the... Whoa, that's not the song I want right now. No, no, let's let's go back to calmer things. Okay, the landing gear aren't high enough. They should be. Uh, here we've we've unlocked some rover wheels. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's say we put rover wheels on this and then see. I mean, this is gonna look weird as anything. Uh, I don't build rovers that much, do I? I just realized this. So let's see. Um, pod. This might not be... Hot. Well, no, I mean, this is fine. Because uh, uh, it needs to drop it on the pod. Come on. So the rover wheels have to be hovering above the ground, and then we have the main landing gear. Let's say these medium landing gear. I doubt the small ones will be long enough. Come on. Yeah, these will be long enough. Well, these are huge. <laughs> yeah, here. Just that right there will do nicely. And uh, so we'll probably mount them on some struts below the wings. But not like that. I think I'm gonna need to fix these up. Uh, hold on. I wonder how it'll do in the atmosphere here in Kerbin if we launch it that way. Why don't you want to rotate the way I want you to? <laughs> Every blasted... Okay, forget it. Later. Um, hold on, let's save that. Get out. Okay. We're not gonna fly that just yet. We need to... We need to build up some science and some funds to rescue the tourists from Lathe. We had stranded three tourists there, on the surface of Lathe. And so we need... That's just me thinking about how I'm gonna pick up their pod and what I need to do it. Okay... You meant why the rover wheels if the landing gear is high enough? No, because uh, I'm going to retract the landing gear to plop the vessel, uh, the craft on top of the... I need to be able... I mean, I don't know how strong the magnetism is, whether the magnetism is strong enough to pick up the capsule, or whether it'll struggle, so I need to be able to drop the plane on top of the capsule to make sure... Uh, to make sure that uh, we can, you know dock up with the capsule. Then it could take off from Kerbin, refuel in LKO, go to Lay for fuel from a tanker in Lay for orbit, land and rescue. Right, that's right. Do the contracts and after a third refuel return. Well, uh, we need to do some contracts before we do uh, the rescue anyway, so we'll probably be doing the Lay thing uh, to set up. I, I want to put some of the, let's say, em uh, maybe empty, maybe full fuel tanks in orbit around Jewel for this craft uh, as part of the VAL mission. Hi SU-25T, all is going well. I We're going to be fulfilling some contracts in order to build up funds for the Lathe rescue and also to fulfill some science. Um, I just need to figure out where it would be best. Oh, uh, maybe I should look at planetary alignments to see where I should send stuff to get science. We've got, a, we've got some VAL contracts. But that might not be the right timing for Val. And again, we, we're on a little bit of a schedule because the tourists, uh, their mission is up at a certain point. So, okay, uh, I'm already seeing, I think a Duna transfer is doable. Duna, there's plenty of biomes. 
We really should have unlocked the Gravioli. We're not at a jewel transfer yet. That'll be in a little while. About of a about a quarter of a orbit, quarter of a year. Eve will eventually catch up. So uh, let me see about the how many biomes are there on Duna. Yeah, the rover wheels are so it won't go fully down on its belly, and also so that we can drive around just using electric charge. Science spam Minmus? I don't know how much... I, I guess we do have a lot of Minmus to do, right? Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of EVA reports here already. Well, only three. We've done three. We've basically done three biomes. Have we, we... We haven't done any Science Juniors. We haven't done any Science Juniors on Minmus. Okay. I think we have a plan. Did I see a Minmus contract over here? Build a new orbital station around Minmus. Okay, uh, so this will be our technical contract, but what we're doing is we're gonna science spam Minmus. Okay. Five biomes on Duna? Is that what uh, you're saying there, Mitko? I think we're going to go for Minmus anyway. Let's just make sure uh, everything... Now, when we get into orbit around Minmus, it's going to have the lander as well. And I guess we'll have a... a so, uh, tell me, the Science Junior, if I carry it and carry a scientist, we're going to be able to reset it, right? That is correct. Or should we just bring a research lab? Let's bring a research lab. I haven't done that at all. I haven't looked at... Uh, yeah, mobile processing lab, sure. Okay, well, uh, let's get serious about this. We're going to science man Mimus the serious way. But for the lab to work, you have to time warp away from... Oh. How heavy is it? So maybe it's good for the long run? We're going to be hanging up, we're going to be doing a Val mission and that'll be a lot of time warping too. Or maybe even a Duna mission, so... Okay, uh, maybe this is okay. Oh wait, you think it needed one? Oh uh, yeah, it did. Okay, so that's already settled. Okay, any other notes? Antenna docking port can generate power. Okay, well let's generate some power. Antenna... I guess just the commutron will be fine. Research lab has nothing to do with resetting now. Got it. No, no, I, I know. The scientist does. Uh, does the scientist have to be a certain level? Is gonna research science faster if it, A, it's landed and they're a skilled scientist. Oh, landed. Well, this, this, uh, well, this starting, we, we gotta keep this in orbit. So, uh, maybe it won't be as fast as it should be, but, uh, we'll, we'll go with that. You can get data anyways, no matter if it yields still science, only the data processing takes pretty long. Okay. Need a ton of energy. Okay, well, that's a different story. So, uh, do we have the big solar panels? No. Well, uh, let's... In that case, I've got a different configuration in mind. Let's get some more fuel on here. And we'll have many more solar panels. And we'll have its tail facing the sun. Let me see how much Delta V this would have on its own. Let's just say a terrier. Okay, well this has plenty. And that's good. It's probably gonna need to refuel our little uh, lander. Uh, maybe we should send up the lander and this separately. No level required for reset. Okay. Shielded docking port. Do we have that yet? I don't think we have the shielded docking port yet. Okay, well then it's just going to be Clampatron plus aerodynamic nose cone. Uh, can we, we can unlock the aerodynamic nose cone, right? 
I don't have to put a fairing around this, right? This is okay for the for no fairing. Uh, put 12 solar panels. Uh, okay, if we think it's necessary. And let's action group the solar panels now that we've got that technology. Okay, we've got everything for the station. I don't know if... I think uh, for balance sake I shouldn't use the terrier. I'll use the poodle just for the sake of not having a weak spot here. Now we've got a small reaction wheel, that's all we need there. We don't need tack light support, but we don't need life support. Uh, so this is a station accommodating five Kerbals, a minimum, it's actually six. And we can send it over to Minmus, we've got the Delta V for that. It's, it'll probably have enough fuel left over. Maybe we should pack some more fuel. Uh, well, 17.5 kilograms is... Yeah, it's less than our the capacity of the launcher I intend to use. Well, I guess we'll just launch the unflippable again. This time without a fairing. And uh, so yeah, let's let's have a bigger fuel tank on here. Maybe I should add some RCS to refuel the lander too. We've got more delta V now. Okay, let's uh, let's slap on the the unflippable and see how this looks. Well, the unflippable should have a lot more margin now, but it might face a lot more trouble coming down. We haven't uh, we haven't checked how it's going to come down yet. I have not either. Just for you to know, I do not know. It's gonna be it's gonna be surprise. It's gonna be surprise whether this can survive re-entry now. Uh, we are going to run some struts up to up to the top here. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to end up here. Is that where it needs to be? Yeah, it looks like it's uh, attached to that tank. We don't have a way of expanding this, though. That irritates me a little bit. It'll just be a station, but it won't be expandable. So, do we think the unflippable will survive? Anyway, let's call this Minmus Station. Oh, uh, 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 do you guys want to propose a name for this station? I'll call it Minmus Station for now. Ah, lights. Good point. Put a 1.25 meter tank and docking ports on it. Uh... Mainly the non-expanding thing is a matter of the big docking ports, not the 1.25 meter docking ports. I can I can always slap on these. I mean that's I don't even need a tank for that. Blue or purple for the lights? I don't do purple very often. All right, all right. Uh, well, let's try it out. If they blow up, uh, we won't have lights. That's not the biggest deal. Uh, maybe we should have some radiator panels. Uh, how necessary are the radiator panels? Have we found that these things are really critical or is it actually superfluous? Useless unless you're at Moho or running nuke engines. Okay, then let's save the cost of them. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Well, that's something. Does the contract say we've got all the things? Okay, contract says we've got all the things. Okay. Throttle is up. SAS is on, though SAS might have to go off. Uh, no, uh, we're sending the scientist with the lander. Do you think we should uh, load up other scientists in here? I guess it's alright, the the poodle has a good thrust weight ratio. Alright, uh, okay, let me recover and load up some scientists. But I was planning to send uh, just one scientist with the lander, but I guess we will we'll, we'll fill her up. Okay, I think we're short on scientists actually. We'll send uh, Bob. Uh, actually, uh, shall we have, we'll have Bob do the landing. Let's hire some science. Oh god, we have to pay a hundred... Guys... We have to pay a lot of money to get scientists. 
How am I going to afford 187,000? I think I'm just going to go with the lander thing until we make some money. What do you guys think? I mean, do we hire... Okay, I, I leave it up to you guys, because, uh... Yeah, do we hire scientists? I need advice. Is it really 187? I, I don't think... When I hired, uh, hired our other Kerbals before, it didn't seem like it was that much. Well, of course it goes up with each hire, I know that. Rescue a scientist. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a contract for that. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't seen a rescue mission in ages. Okay. Um, well, think about that. Let, let me just double check that they haven't actually given us uh, a rescue mission. With our luck, uh, even if we have a rescue mission, it's going to be. It's going to be an engineer or a pilot instead. Who is that lost poor guy? Rudan, don't rub it in. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything like that. So, um, and they haven't really replenished my list of available contracts either, which is no good. Okay, so let's just launch without any scientists this time. The Unflippable is a tested launcher, so I wasn't gonna mind putting a Kerbal on top of it. But it doesn't look like that's happening. Okay, here we go. He knows it was Jeb. How could you miss that it was Jeb? Think tourists blow up the number of astronauts and inflate the prices on new hires? That sounds like a bug. Okay, here we go. No, I, I might have to rescue Kerbals from Elu by now, Sidzi. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, Duna, is, Duna is easy by now. I think that's why I haven't gotten the rescue contracts. Okay, here we go. That looks like quite a rocket. Hey, uh, let's go back to the original launch music. I'm not liking this. Okay, I should be rotating by now. Well, this thing has a low thrust to weight ratio, though. I need to build a new rocket, guys. I need to build one with a 1.8 uh, TWR. Based on my findings, right? I mean, if we do the science, we should uh, have craft that reflect the science. Well, this thing is flying quite steady right now. We are past the speed of sound. This one, of course, has a very low thrust weight ratio. You should definitely break the sound barrier much faster than this. Oh, hey, let's see the aerodynamics. It's all about those RCS tanks. Those RCS tanks are the, uh, the main drag on the payload. The rest is fairly, fairly expected. Well, the new heating and drag has uh, has treated the EDB shuttle well, so I don't mind it. We'll see how it treats the unflippable on the way down. Rotate the RCS tanks by 90 degrees to reduce drag. Nah, that'd be sort of cheating. I, if I really wanted to, if I was desperate, I'd have put the, the LV-909 on the bottom instead of the poodle, and then I'd tuck the RCS tanks on the bottom. Oh, the back line is vertical and so forth. Oh, rotate it like that, around that axis. Yeah, I understand. But again, I wouldn't. I, I don't believe it should have less drag when rotated like that. So uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that in order to avoid the drag. Let me put it that way. Um, bit tough to explain my logic on that one, but uh, okay. I think I can cut the thrall now, it's thrust weight has gone to three. Okay, coasting to apoapsis. I 
I guess we can dump the nose cone. Off it goes, and it's gonna start coming back at us. But uh, we can... Can we pitch down? No we can't, because we've got like negligible reaction wheel power. Oh, Zephyrin Cochran, is that uh, what you were aiming for there? Okay, I've overdone it. Alright, well that's gonna be interesting. Our payload should be all right. Electric charge seems fine, but let's let's extend the solar panels first, and then let loose with the payload. Cochrane Station. Oh, okay, we can do that. Uh, except our controllers inside the service bay. Uh, I'll wait until it's daylight before. Oh no, I can open the service bay. Don't forget that. Yes, I can. Uh, well, I don't want to name it right now because it's attached to the launcher. I don't want to rename. Not that. Oh, it doesn't matter if I rename the launcher. It's coming back down anyway. Okay, there we go. Rename vessel. Cochrane Station it is. I'll spell it the way you spell it because I don't remember exactly how it's spelled in Star Trek. So, there we go. We should also have a Crichton station for Farscape, but anyway, that's a separate issue. Okay, fuel is fully loaded, right? Okay. Decoupling. 